Hey everybody, happy Manufacturing Day from all of us here at Staco Energy Products. My name is Brooke Preston, I'm the Marketing Project Coordinator here at Staco, and today I'm going to be taking you on a little journey into what it's like to work for a manufacturing company. So let's go! Here at Staco, we manufacture power quality products. But what exactly does that mean? Take a look at the short video clip that'll tell you a little bit more about what we do. Since 1937, Staco Energy has been a leading supplier of power quality and voltage control technologies in the world. With innovative, consistent, and reliable products, Staco Energy is positioned to provide you with outstanding service and customized solutions for your specific power requirements. Whether you're looking for voltage regulators, power conditioners and frequency converters, test sets, power factor correction, emergency lighting inverters, active harmonic filters, battery monitoring systems, or UPS equipment. Our solutions-based team can provide suggestions on products and configurations that are right for you. We work with some of the biggest names in the world and are proud of our long history and expertise as an innovative leader in power solutions. And we look forward to serving the power needs of you and your customers. Staco Energy, the stabilizing force, making power better. One of the best parts about working in manufacturing is definitely all the cool equipment you get to work with. So I asked our Director of Manufacturing, Tammy Grigsby, to give us a little tour of Staco's plant floor. So take a look. Hi, my name is Tammy Grigsby and I'm here to show you uh, our plant. Um, I'm the Director of Manufacturing here at Staco Energy Products and uh, let's take a walk. So let's take a look at our battery room. This is a special temperature control room that we have because batteries are kind of like eggs or milk on the shelf. And if it's not cool enough, they do go bad quicker. And so we have to store all of our products that have batteries in this cold room. I call this the Star Trek door. But here we have all of our products that we have batteries in. And you can see here that um, one of the things that we have to do is we have to recharge them on a regular basis so that the batteries stay nice and fresh. So that's what we have going on over here with the unpack, recharge, and then repack right back into their original boxes. So here is our regular warehouse area, uh, much warmer than the battery storage area. It's air conditioned, but again, it's, it's more tolerable. Anyway, this is where we keep all of our regular products, and um, we got to clear the way here because we got an incoming fork truck. We got a little blue dot here, which I call that the you're about ready to get killed blue dot. <laughs> Don't move out of the way. Hi, Tim. So Tim runs our stand-up breach. Um, this is kind of a cool little forklift. It's actually got a little camera on it so that he can see when he needs to get up into the higher racks, he can see what he's doing. Um, and it makes it a lot easier to not hurt somebody. This is our shipping and receiving area, and um, it doesn't look that like that big of a deal, but one of the things we are happiest to have, this is our new facility, is this large garage door. Um, in our old building that we had, we sometimes would build products so big, we actually had a difficult time getting them out of the building. So it's kind of like building a boat in the basement, which is never a good idea. So we have this really large dock door, and sometimes when we have a really big project, we'll actually have a semi truck back up, open the garage door and have them back right up into the building so that we can load the product in. Um, so don't do that very often, but when we do need to, it comes in super handy. So here 
here we are still in our shipping and receiving uh, dock. Um, we've got Sonia here on the forklift. She's uh, loading the truck up. Um, it's a product that we just finished today and it's going out to our customer. Here we are in our stock room and uh, we have Karen here who works for us. She does a great job. Karen, would you mind telling us just a little bit about what you do every day? Uh, okay, it's up to me to put like things away that come into receiving. I put them away and onto the shelves numerically in numerical order. And then also another one of my major jobs is to pull jobs uh, and take all of these sheets here, go by these pick, pick sheets is what they're called. And I pick all of the items and then I issue them, make sure that they're taken out of inventory. Tim comes by with a forklift, takes them to the area where they go to be built. Now we're in our test area and um, here we have Brian who is working on one of our products. Hey Brian, why don't you tell us a little bit about your job here? I check wiring and test for function, make sure everything works good. Cool, thank you. Now we're in our winding department. Um, this is a, a winding machine that we have here. And what we've got here is a, a variable transformer coil. This is uh, part of the business that we've been doing for 80 years. And um, this product right here forms the basis of most of the work we do in this building. So when we're making a coil, we start with a metal core, um, which is actually very heavy. It's a lot heavier than it looks and um, we have to put some insulating material around it. We load it into the winder, and then basically the winder is kind of like a glorified sewing machine, and it just wraps the copper wire around the core in the insulator, and that's what gives its magnetic properties and um, allows it to work. Here we are in our machine shop. Um, we do a lot of specialized custom products, and so we need the ability to be able to drill and locate holes as needed, cut things to the proper size because we have a lot of special things that we have to manufacture here. And this is our assembly area where we put together some of our small bench top variable transformer units. Uh, these units, basically we make everything from scratch here and they're all assembled 100% by hand. Um, each of them is made individually to order. So that pretty much concludes our tour here of Staco Energy Products. We're really sorry that you couldn't come here in person. Um, hope everyone's being safe and having a great school year. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next year. Take care. Here at Staco, we offer all kinds of flexible jobs at all education levels, from internships and apprenticeships to part-time and full-time jobs. So I asked a few of our employees to talk a little bit more about their job flexibility. So for the past 12 years, I've been a stay-at-home mom. Going back to work part-time was a great opportunity, and I happened to see part-time job opening here at Staco, and thought, gosh, I can do that. When the opportunity came up to join Staco, I jumped on it just because I've never worked any manufacturing job, so you know, you might as well try it. And um, once I started, I fell in love with this place. I have been fortunate to be here for 21 years and uh, I've had opportunities to advance and everybody's been helpful and, and trust that I could do it and give me that opportunity so it's been great. Here at Staco it's not all work and no play so I asked a few of our employees to talk a little bit more about what they love about their job so take a look. What I like coming to Staco every day for is the people. We have a very diverse group of people here and so we don't have the one size fits all mentality. I like to take care of my customers. I like to provide them with excellent service. What I think makes Staco special, just the energy here. It's a lot more family oriented, I feel like. And I think a lot of that comes from it being a small organization where what you do matters a little more. Although we weren't able to meet in person this year, Staco Energy Products is still so honored to be able to participate in this year's manufacturing day. And we want to give a huge shout out to the Dayton Region Manufacturers Association for helping to make this possible. Thanks so much and we hope to see you real soon.